Last time you said something, I ain't had time. But today, I got time. You better get the off my line, rat boy. In the music industry, rappers often have to display a high level of toxic masculinity to gain street credit. Many of them get involved in crimes to build a reputation, which will then give them entry into a crew. The producers often take advantage of young, naive rappers who only want to make a name for themselves. This vicious cycle often gets a break when a rapper wants a way out, and they snitch everything they know to the police. While many rappers would say they've never snitched, the truth is slightly different than that. Even the biggest of the rappers had to give Fed some information to get themselves out of jail. In this video, let's take a look at rappers who snitched to get their freedom back. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and comment on this video about which one of these rappers you didn't know snitched. Also, if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment a hidden message. Good luck! Takashi69 If you're a fan of hip-hop, it's impossible that you don't know Takashi's name at this point. Not because the guy releases any hit music, he's always making headlines for anything other than being a musician. When Takashi was arrested in 2019 due to his multiple illegal activities, he made a deal with the feds. What I did it wasn't snitching. What I did was being smart and realized that God put me there to cut my grass so I could see the snakes in my grass. He famously gave crucial information about his gang, Nine Trey Gangsta Bloods, in exchange for protection. Because of his testimony, police arrested many notable members of this gang. After this, many rappers gave their two cents about Takashi snitching including Snoop Dogg, Drake, and various others. Capone Prodigy, a member of Mob Deep, released his biography, My Infamous Life, and made some startling revelations in it. One particular piece of information that caught many people's attention was the incident of Capone snitching. Prodigy claimed that Capone got Kill a Black arrested. Since then, both of the rappers have engaged in a war of words, but none of them ever provided hard evidence. However, Prodigy is still adamant about the fact that Capone did snitch. T.I. When T.I. got arrested in 2007 for buying guns, he got out only after a one-year plea deal. Naturally, the lenience in his sentence raised many questions. Some rappers were quick to conclude that T.I. must have snitched to shorten his sentence. To this day, no great evidence has been found, but still many people believe that he must have told the police something. However, many people believe the truth is that he had a great lawyer, and he just got lucky. Alpha Mega Former Grand Hustle Muscle Cedric Alpha Mega Zellers was kicked from the Kang's court, Back in 2009, after Smoking Gun uncovered court documents revealing that the rapper had snitched on Atlanta heroin dealer Ali Bakar. According to the proof that SG found, Mega began working as a DEA informant to build a case against Bakar to get out of the felony gun charge that he got booked for in 1995. It was because of Zeller's explosive testimony that Bakar was convicted of conspiracy to distribute heroin. Not just this, Mega also reduced his sentence by eight months. Scarface in 2007, Scarface was beefing with another Houston rapper, Lil Troy. Troy accused Scarface of being part of an investigation that eventually ended with Byron Keith and George Simmons being convicted. The back and forth between rappers went on for years. It only ended when Simmons wrote a letter indicating that Scarface didn't have anything to do with his imprisonment. Tommy Hill In the late 90s, John Tommy Hill Wilson was a vital member of the Philly rap crew Ram Squad. He allegedly had close ties with Philadelphia Mob. In 2003, he was busted when he tried to sell 51 grams of crack to a police insider. He then later testified in the drug and weapons case of Johnny, Harry, and Benjamin Bellman in exchange for his freedom. Though publicly, Hill always denied snitching. He did that till he was murdered outside of a Philly bar in December 2011. Jimmy Henchman In 2011, when feds arrested Jimmy, he allegedly snitched on associates, Wyclef's driver, Wyclef in exchange for freedom. The police had arrested him because they got a tip that he runs a $10 million drug ring. It took the police one month to find him and put him behind bars. Henchman was looking at a really long sentence, and he decided to make a deal with the feds. He told them everything about detailed aspects of his operation, and admitted to prosecutors that the majority of his income came from illegal means. He also admitted to selling drugs to Wyclef's driver, and even revealed that Interscope's offices do make drug drops. Lil Cease In 2005, Lil Cease was labeled as a snitch when he took a clear stance at Lil Kim's perjury trial. Lil Cease's testimony... Queen B was sentenced to prison for a year for committing perjury and lying to investigators. After that, Lil Cease's reputation took a serious hit, but he was justified by saying that the Fed subpoenaed him and he had to give information. Snoop Dogg Snoop Dogg has been in the limelight for around three decades now, 
It's impossible to have such kind of longevity in the career without it being marred with some controversies. Reggie Wright Jr. openly accused Snoop of giving information to police in exchange for protection. He said that Snoop has gotten into trouble with the law many times, but he never faced any serious consequences. For that, the only possible explanation is that he works as an insider for the police. And with this, we've come to the very end of this video. Tell us in the comments below which rapper's name in the list surprised you the most. Let us know your thoughts on the whole video below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video, and if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching, until next time.